Hi, uh, so this video is going to be a little bit basic if you have any sort of uh, wrestling experience, but if you are coming into Jiu Jitsu as an adult without any type of wrestling experience and you want to uh, improve your penetration steps for uh, your wrestling shot, for your shots, for your takedowns, for Jiu Jitsu, whether, uh, and as well as your knee cut passes, this uh, video will help you out a lot. So we're going to look at a knee down drill. Uh, for wrestling shots and knee cut passes, it's called a heel toe knee drill. It's gonna really help you out. Um, this is something you can do on your own. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off in a good grappling stance, meaning I'm gonna have my staggered stance on the left leg lead, so I'm gonna go left leg first, actually show it from this uh, direction, and I'm gonna have my back leg uh, a little bit behind. I like to line up my, my feet shoulder width apart with my big toe of my back foot in line with the heel of my front foot. I'm gonna bend my knees, bend my hips, have my hands up and my eyes up. So when I do the, the heel toe knee drill, I'm gonna touch my heel, then my toes, then my knee on the mat, and I'm gonna have my hands on the mat for stability. Uh, when I take somebody down, obviously I'll either have hands around both legs or one leg for a single leg or, or for a double leg or a single leg. Uh, for, knee, for a knee cut pass, I'm gonna have my hand, my hip and their knee uh, getting their le their bottom leg uh, parallel to the mat, and I'm going to go. I'm going to lower my level first because I don't want to go straight down to the mat. I want to lower my level then straight into their hips. All right, so I'm going to lower my level, heel, toe, hands on the mat, knee on the mat. I want to keep my eyes up, and my chest up. All right, I don't want to be down because that's going to make it snap down easier for my partner. I want my I want to be looking up at them. I'm going to bring my back leg up so it's about in line with my front foot, and then I'm going to step back up into a stance so I can explode through my partner right back up. All right? So again, I'm going to be in a good grappling stance here, just right here, good staggered stance with my lead leg in front, hips in, elbows in, eyes up, step heel, toe, hands on the mat, knee right to my hands, step back up into a good grappling stance. All right? And that will help you finish more takedowns um, because big part, of, big part of people having trouble with takedowns is they don't have enough uh, drive through to their partner's hips to prevent them from sprawling. So this is gonna help you with that. It's also gonna help you uh, shoot from a little bit further out where you can clear the hands out uh, without being too far away or too close bunched up, all right? Um, so if anybody wants to see that uh, against a uh, partner, a couple weeks ago I filmed a blast double video for jiu-jitsu. You can look on that on my YouTube page or my social media. Um, you can find me everywhere, at Andy Anderson JJ uh, on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Threads, Facebook, and YouTube. If you have any questions about this or anything else jiu-jitsu related, feel free to ask. Uh, please like and share the video if it helped you out, and uh, hope to talk to you again soon.